Hello friends. Welcome to the field of robotics. I am sure we will have fun learning the techniques required to create a robot. But before that, let's spend some time to understand the robotics history. Let's have a look at the learning objectives of this video. In this video, we will first define a robot. Then we will see the characteristics of a robot which will increase our understanding of what is a robot. Then we'll talk about three laws of robotics. Why and where do we use robots? So we'll see where we employ robots and why do we do that. Then we'll look at various fields where the robots are already employed. And finally, we will look at the engineering streams which are connected with robotics. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota, which means forced labor. The term robot was first used in 1921 in a play Rossum's Universal Robots. A robot is defined as a programmable machine capable of carrying out complex series of actions, either automatically or through remote control. A robot often is created to help or assist humans in performing repetitive, high precision or dangerous activities key points to note here are the highlighted words a machine is called a robot only when it satisfies this criteria a robot differs from a human in that it is a machine it does not have common sense a human can study an action and perceive different meaning of same words but a robot has difficulty in doing the same also it cannot be expected that all robots have such common abilities a human gets bored of doing repetitive tasks and starts making mistakes or the efficiency reduces as time passes a robot can perform the same tasks over and over without making mistakes and at the same efficiency a robot can do highly precise tasks at extraordinary speeds such as in electronics industry a robot can build thousands of transistors on a very small chip A robot will listen to all orders of its creators. Humans? <laughs> a human is more likely to understand the results in advance and decide on next action whereas a robot will only perform pre-programmed actions. A robot can perform high complex calculations with certain ease which a human being may not. Isaac Asimov in his writings described three laws of robotics. the laws guide how a robot should behave interestingly as robot is what its creator designed the laws can be assumed to be applicable to the robot design so you should keep in mind these laws while you design a robot law 1 states that a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm so what exactly it means It is simple to understand that a robot should not injure a human being. But what does the second part of the law means? Let's take an example. Ram is walking on a road followed by Sham. Ram encounters a banana skin on the road. He jumps over the same and keeps going ahead. Now Sham, who is following Ram, does not see the banana skin and obviously result is that he slips and falls. In this situation Ram has harmed Sham by his inaction that is by not removing the banana skin from the road despite of being aware that someone may fall due to this banana skin law 2 states that a robot must obey orders given to it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law this is very simple to understand a robot does what its master tells means programs it unless it conflicts with first law law 3 states that a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law here we acknowledge that robot also is important and we must ensure that our design also takes care of the robot itself at the same time it also tells us that in the line of importance master comes first and then the robot 
The last statements in the law 2 and law 3 are important and show that the laws are hierarchical. If there is a chance of conflict with the higher position law, then the lower position law will not be followed. As we have seen in the definition slide, the robots are created for multiple purposes. A robot is created to get rid of boring, time-consuming tasks such as cleaning, washing, etc. Robots are also employed when there is danger involved, such as working in high temperatures, high pressures or high altitudes. They are also created to do highly repetitive tasks where there is a chance of slowing down or making mistakes as time elapses. Robots are also extensively used in performing activities that seek high precision. Last but not the least, robots are nowadays used to assist the people with handicap for basic needs such as eating, moving between places, etc. The usage of robots do not stop here. Robots can be employed in almost any and every situation. Let's now see some examples of robots used in various industries. Some industrial robots consist of Material handling robot Robots for welding Pick and place robots Robots employed for productivity improvement and Factory automation robots Military always welcomed automation. To reduce the risk to life of a soldier, military employs robots such as bomb disposal robots and search and rescue robots. Medical industry is not far behind in usage of robots. After first employing robots in imaging, now robots are helping with minimal invasive surgery. You no longer need to take long cuts in your body for performing operations. Robotic technology is also helping to perform remote surgeries. Futuristic science expeditions have always been the first users of new technology. There are numerous examples of the exploratory robots such as Mars rovers and deep sea rovers. Unmanned air vehicles are part of the exploratory robots as well as military. You and I too are not far from this futuristic technology. Domestic robots have entered our lives long back. Dishwashers, washing machines, lawn mowers have occupied our life long while ago. Latest addition is the automated home cleaning machine Roomba. Robotics is a combination of different engineering fields. The construction of a robot uses mechanical engineering. Sensors, microcontrollers, which are part of the electronics engineering, are the senses and heart of the robot respectively. More than 80% of the robots are powered by electricity and need knowledge of electrical engineering for designing the power source. Finally, the computer engineering seals the pack by programming the robot to perform the required functionalities. In this video, we first defined the robot. We then talked about various characteristics of a robot which increased our understanding of what is a robot. Then we looked at three laws of robotics which actually are the laws for the robotics designer. Then we spoke about various places where we use robots and why do we do that. And then we looked at different industries where robots are already employed. And finally, we looked at the engineering streams which are connected with robotics. With this, we come to the end of this video. And from our next videos, we will start building our robots.